Hey everybody, this is Mark Wingerter, Managing Director of the Grand Junction Montrose offices. Welcome to the Distinctive Daily. Today we're going to talk about forbearance, and it may not mean what you think it means. Okay, a good friend of mine sent me a Facebook message uh, earlier today uh, and actually put it out on a post and I posted it on my Facebook page and it talks about forbearance. And the idea with forbearance is that the world comes crashing in around you, you got to find a way to make ends meet and you, your, your bank kicks the can down the road a couple of months for you uh, to, to, so you don't have your house payment, which can be hugely helpful uh, to a lot of people. but. A lot of people are assuming that because the world is caving in around them that they should just go ahead and take that option or are kind of leaning on that and trying to kind of pretend that the world is caving in on them and so that they have to kick that can down the road. A lot of people, I've seen this stuff all over Facebook and social media lately, are talking about, well that takes your three, four, five, six months of payments and puts it on the end of your loan which honestly, at the end of 30 years, who cares? It's not really that big a deal, right? I mean, you pay interest on it, it does have an impact, but it gets you out of this hard spot. So that sounds like a great way to go, except it's not forbearance. <clears throat> what forbearance is, is okay, we agree to give you three, four, five months, whatever that number looks like, but then as soon as you're back on your feet, we expect that money to be paid back. So effectively, if you've got a $1,500 a month house payment and you're making ends meet and you're struggling a little bit, maybe you're back on your feet, but your significant other, maybe she's not on the loan, something like that. I mean, any number of things, all of a sudden, they're asking for not $1,500 a month, they're asking for $1,800, $1,900 a month to make up for the three or four months that you had, that you got behind. And then that is gonna continue until that piece is paid off, then you could drop back to normal. That's not good for a lot of people. And a lot of people may not fully understand what they're signing up for, and if they can't make that payment after they're back on their feet, guess what could happen? It closed on. So they may actually make they may be making their situation worse by taking care of, by taking the forbearance option. This is all kind of funky stuff and it's all finance and loan stuff and it's certainly not our department. But if you know of anybody that is thinking about that or even throws it around make sure that they talk to their to their mortgage company, their lender, their bank, whoever whoever's holding that note, and make sure they fully understand what they're signing up for, otherwise they could be putting themselves into a world of hurt. Uh, and with that, this is the first Facebook uh, thing or video I've shot in like two weeks with pants on. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks everybody.